Буллинг. Буллинг – это распространенная Bullying. проблема в школах. Буллинг – это common problem in schools. I'm curious to know the reason. Teachers say that kids pick a victim for bullying regardless of peers' abilities. Is bullying in school a provocation or is it due to a personal weakness that is noticeable to other peers in school? Indeed, children are exceptionally mean creatures. And school is a vivid example of this. As strange as it may sound, but as people age, they become more humane to one another. This doesn't pertain to children. Children are little beasts. First experiences in socialization exist so a person can learn to interact with his animalistic nature. It is most difficult to do in schools, since schools are filled with those going through that experience. And bullying is an indicator of that animalistic nature. The teacher, I reason, was not entirely correct, because the animalistic, biological, subconscious nature of a person, be it even a small child, is to a greater degree animalistic, and animals think differently. They right away would see an alpha leader as well as an outcast of the pack. No matter what sort of clothes the outcast would put on, and no matter how he would position himself in a social sense. A future alpha leader, that is, in the subcortex. On the one hand, bullying is a social resilience test. And on the other hand, it is a pure, ancient, animalistic function to cast out the weakest of the pack. It looks quite scary when we talk of people and see it in people. We gain clarity on this phenomenon if we try to see an evolving person in all the age-related stages. And in this evolution, the school stage belongs to the animalistic level of development. We just have to recognize it. These are higher order primates, but primates nonetheless. It is a pack. A class of students is a pack. They are of one species but a completely irrational, inhumane, and uncivilized society. What they have learned from their families are the rules of behavior in society, the ability to speak, and some simple life norms. They don't have anything else yet. So they are behaving like male and female animals in a pack. Gradually, successively, over 10 years, or however long they stay in school nowadays, they assume the likeness of a human. Only the likeness. They say that the cruelest of all creatures are women and children. And if a woman is a child, meaning age-wise, she is double as cruel. Nothing compares to female fight. Even the wall-on-wall -wall fights that used to happen back in the day. This didn't start today and won't end tomorrow. Even during the Soviet era, in highly humanistic schools, they had bullying, boycotts, fights and incitements to suicide. They had it all. It's just that it wasn't so demonstratively exhibited to the public as a virtue of the current age. But nowadays that is exactly how it is presented, because According to our current culture, you don't need to hide your animalistic nature. It is nothing to be ashamed of. The same way, 
One can also go about the publicity of one's own gender, own social statuses or some other characteristics which in the culture of the 20th century was accustomed to be hidden and corrected in any way possible. Bullying, in fact, relates to it. It is in some way considered that it didn't have this in Soviet schools, but it did happen, just not as much and it wasn't as actively announced. Today it became a norm. Voicing your animalistic nature has become a norm. People don't try addressing it personally. They don't feel shame just because something animalistic awakened within them. Culture, the outer section, tells us that all which is animalistic is normal. The same as early sexual education is considered normal today. The same as it is considered normal to snitch on your parents to morality police or whatever if parents forbid their male child to dress like a female. This suddenly became a norm. Just as bullying became a norm. So the cause lies exactly in that. Society does not condemn this behavior. It does condemn it just verbally, but actually condones it emotionally, informationally and in other ways. They say it's normal, all normal, it is a widespread phenomenon. Look, it is the same in the US and in India and in Europe it is the same, as well as in some backwards town. It is all the same, we are all alike, from the same pile, so to say. And it is nothing to be ashamed of, no shame in being a cave dweller. And the person stops pushing himself, stops working on establishing other communication channels. He understands that squashing someone who is weaker and thereby becoming stronger is the fastest way to become a leader. And the strong one just has to prove his strength thrice to say, I am the alpha male, and in fact that would be enough. You don't have to grow intellectually, you don't have to learn, don't have to educate yourself. Three grades of church school is plenty enough, sure that is. We have many of them in our government with even less education than that. And they're all working, no problem. Nowadays all of that is allowed. But this will not last forever. Everything at some point comes to an end. This will end too. This is just an experiment. If you or your children encounter this phenomenon, it would be easier to live through it and easier to exist this conflict as a winner if you will remember the following. This is a short-term phenomenon. It is a social experiment. Those who fell for it, who said that indeed my animalistic nature has a right to exist and from now on we will be living according to animalistic rules, he has lost. It is a test of your baseness, a test of your weakness, your animalism. Are you a human being? or still a primate. As far as the causes of these types of tests, we will certainly speak of them at a later time.